Over on her side, it's now easier to see why this happened. A huge 30-meter gash ruptured the underside of the Costa Concordia. This is not happening. This is not happening. I'm just glad we didn't hit a rock. We're not safe until we That's right. I was going to say, we're not safe until we don't hit a rock. Why are they letting us go near it? Because they don't know. People might be need help to get off. By this point, some had already leapt into the sea. This group made it onto a rescue boat. Where are you going? With 4,000 on board, the search for survivors was only just starting. Steve! Steve! Kathy! The cruise ship is just off the tiny island of Giglio, off the Tuscany coast. It was the first night of a seven-day cruise. The scramble to get off was chaotic. It was dark, people were screaming and children were crying everywhere. It was panic. It was very, very cold and we were very scared. We saw death in the face. I said to him, I'm 21 years old. If I'm going to die, you need to tell me now. 25 passengers were British, as were 12 ship workers, many of them entertainers. The Costa Concordia entered service in 2006 and usually cruises the Med in some style. It's a floating village that cost £370 million. On this cruise, passengers heard a loud noise. The lights went out. Initial theories suggest the loss of power meant the crew lost control. It was pure panic as the ship came back straight for a couple of minutes before tilting again in the opposite direction. I was shocked by the lack of support on the ship and Costa was giving us the wrong information. They told us it was a simple fault and that we should stay calm and that we needn't wear life vests as it was a simple balancing problem. A closer look reveals what looks like a rock wedged into the damaged section. Possiamo anticipare. Unfortunately, the fast tilting of the vessel interrupted the lifeboat evacuation. That's when events started escalating and the Italian Coast Guard had to intervene. Then the rescue operations were handed over to the authorities. Members of the crew are now helping the Italian authorities. Explaining what was happening before the crash will be crucial to understanding how this luxury cruise could go so spectacularly wrong. Tom Parman to Sky News.